Oh man, check this out. Woohoo! This thing will be coming in in April. Yeah. April. April. And uh, we're able to check it out and we're gonna get some background on the board. A little sneak peek. Woohoo! <laughs> So, uh, how long have you been working? So this is now in the Thunderbolt technology, right? Yes, so it's pretty much the same shape as my TJ Pro that comes in TimberTech, but we've just added this technology oh. to it. Oh, so you didn't change the shape at all? We added a little bit of volume. Okay. Apart from that, same dimensions, everything's pretty much the same. It just has a little bit more volume because that was a feedback that we had from the TimberTechs was some people felt they were a little bit thin. Oh. Um, I love it the way it is, but yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it works no, great with a little more volumes, just extra fun in the small stuff. Yeah. So what what's the difference in the volume? This one has. Do you know what the volume uh, on this I, is? Honestly, I don't know it off the top of my head. Oh, okay. It's not much. Like you, honestly, if you don't have one, you probably wouldn't notice. Um, it's just a little bit fuller in the rails. Yeah. So the biggest thing between the Timber Tech and this technology, um, on the flex and what else? Mostly the flex, like that's the biggest difference and yeah. you can feel on it as soon as you hop on a board, you can tell that the spring's different. Um, timber techs have a more dampening effect, which I've come to love, but it's also really nice to have something that's really springy under your feet yeah. um, for certain conditions and the carbon when it's really big, um, I found that super fun. Like yeah. You can really put as much pressure behind it as you want and the thing responds amazing. So, you know, I don't know too much about your board, so if we can go through the bottom and I know when you when you first walked it in, we were talking about that there's a single concave that runs almost halfway through, huh? Yeah, basically the single concave starts in the nose, runs probably a bit past halfway through, uh -huh. and then it's just a complete smooth transition into a double concave in the tail and a little V out the back. So for me, it just creates a smooth transition from nose riding, midboard trim, back to tail to turn. There's no catchy spot. There's no flat point that kind of can snag yeah yeah it's yeah. just a super smooth transition easy flow yeah and that's kind of what i prefer my surfing to be it's just i'm all about flow i like having smooth transitions and maintaining momentum and just drawing lines so that's where this thing came from and yeah so on um do you on small days versus bigger days do you change up the fins and what do you use i don't change my fins um i don't change the template of my fins okay I have the same exact set in just straight fiberglass as I do in like a carbon sort of twangy or flex to uh -huh. it. So for the smaller days, I'll use the carbon fins that have that extra flex just to kind of get some spring to my surfing. And as soon as it goes overhead high, I'll throw a fiberglass in the back. Just gives you a little bit extra hold. Um, yeah. What size are you using? My center fins are 6.875 and my side fins are like a 4.25. Like a standard? Yeah, they're like, like a shortboard set. Like oh, a, like really? A, a small size shortboard set. Oh, Very interesting. Very similar to like a John John Florence set, but like in a small to medium. Oh. Like more drive. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, a bigger yeah. Guy. Well, you're a big dude. Yeah, and it's like a performance, <laughs> really performance longboard. Yeah. So when I get on this thing, I want it to like just fly. Yeah, and yeah. Just be able to use those side fins to really generate momentum and yeah. you know, push, push hard enough it'll turn. So. Yeah. And then this one right here comes in what lengths? Uh, just 9 -0. Just 9-0. This is just my stock when I ride contests. Like, yeah. This is my everyday contest board. You know, that's what I won my three field titles on. And I've tested, proven. I don't like to change it. I love it the way it is. And yeah. yeah. Just 9-0 is the perfect fit for it. So it comes in the carbon, which is the black um, Thunderbolt technology. Yes. And then in the Xeon, which is the red. The red, yeah. Exactly. And the red's just got a more flex. That's yeah. really the only difference that I, I've noticed through it. Um, carbon's a bit stiffer, feels better, bigger surf. Um, the red's just kind of more like a traditional board, yeah. a traditional epoxy board. It has that extra spring to it. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it just responds faster. What about um, windy, choppy days? Or you know like when it, there's a lot of water and you get that like, you know, yeah. it's like a lot of water in the in, in the thing. How does it feel? Is it that feels great. It still feels amazing. I prefer the carbon when it's like that. Just a bit stiffer, you can kind of cut through the chunk. Yeah. Um, but it still feels amazing. Like Once you learn how to really use that spring, you can kind of flex and spring off those chops and stuff. Oh, and it becomes yeah, really yeah. fun. Like, 
connect the dots style down the line. It's super fun, but um, if there's any size or any power behind it, like I know you guys wear short type of waves, yeah. you guys get a lot of power behind your swells. The carbon feels really good. I know you're stoked on these on this technology. Super huh? stoked. Yeah, I mean it's a great balance for for what I have with my timber tech. Yeah. And, I still ride my timber tech a ton, but it's great to be able to have you know something different to really yeah. play with the flex and find out where they fit. Like having this in big waves has become amazing for me, um, and then having the the red to play around with too. And like when I have kind of a tighter, bolier wave that my timber techs don't flex enough to, I found that the red will kind of fit a little bit more, and I can oh, kind of use that that's interesting that spring to fit in the pocket tighter. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's one of the things uh, CJ would say too, because he said it fits into the pocket a lot totally, better when you're turning. Totally, it's like you can use that flex to your advantage all of a sudden. Yeah. And, and really like get the most out of those kind of speed pockets of the wave. Yeah. And stay super close to the curl, so. Right it's on. Something that like, that really, as soon as I tried one, I was like, wow, that's really cool to be able to, to still have a nine foot board, but it feels like an 8-0. Yeah. You, like wanna be in the pocket. So you, did you ride this one at the ranch? I rode, yes, this one at the ranch, but it's, doesn't look the same. It was oh, the okay. prototype, so it had a little different look to it. Yeah, same, yeah. same layup, same everything. So as you were going through the prototypes, um, you asked to change the flex in certain areas and the twist on certain areas of the tail and stuff like that? Yeah, totally. That's one of the really cool things about what you does is you can really dial in the flex based on what you want. So yeah. I started off with a very flexy board. The first thing I said was give me as much flex as you can. Um, just something I wanted to experiment with, and then we kind of dialed it back from there. Oh. So we added stiffness up through the nose because the, the super flexy ones wouldn't nose right at all. Um, you'd actually get reverse kind of rocker going and yeah. nose dive a lot. So stiffened up the nose, kept a lot of flex in the tail. So you still have that spring when you want it off the back, but you have that stiffness up in the nose. So amazing what you That's can do with crazy, these dude. <laughs> like To be able to dial it in that specific and him to be able to just like, yeah, okay, this is what we can do. Yeah. That's so for exciting. you guys that are listening um, or checking out this video, Yusan is the guy that, um, he's like the master crafter for these boards. Yeah, and, yeah. he's like yeah. the mad scientist behind like, yeah, the yeah. whole layup and the way that you know the boards flex and how you can kind of tinker with it yeah. and play with it. And yeah, they've got some cool videos out kind of explaining the, the whole process. And yeah, it's just a fun thing to, to be able to play around with and especially for me to be able to ride like the same shape and three different sort of technology layups. Yeah. To felt totally different. Totally different. They all feel totally different. Like it's it's really cool. It's the same shape, so I'm super comfortable with it. Yeah. But I can kind of tailor the flex and the way they feel based on conditions, and just I feel like it gives me a little bit more advantage now. Yeah. So, no. Yeah, that's so cool what they can it's do. With so the boards. Yeah. Yeah. And totally based on like where I am and what kind of waves I'm riding, I know what to take now. Yeah. Kind of what I want to ride. So. Right on. Thank so, you very much. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> That was the uh, 90, 22 and 8, 2 and 5 eighths. Oh, here's volume 60. 60 liters. 60 liters. Um, and it's and the, uh, the TJ Pro. Pro. Timber Tech is 59. Oh, the, oh one sorry. liter. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. Liter, which doesn't sound like that much. But in that technology, in this not. technology, it's kind of... It's a little different. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I, the only spot I really feel it's the rails. Oh, okay. The rails are just a little bit fuller. Not a bad thing. All right, on. It gives you room to grow. <laughs> it's just more flow. Like, yeah, really, yeah. When, when you're riding a longboard in most of the time, it's like conditions yeah, yeah. That aren't optimum. So that little extra flow kind of goes a long way. All right, on. That was the TJ Pro.